Um, well, I, I will talk about Tor, uh, but uh, first, eventually, start by myself. I'm Pedro Ferzão. I work in the in the internet as um, a network engineer and uh, system administrator at ESP since 90s, middle 90s. So I'm there quite from a, a quite long time. But uh, the, the talk is about the, the, uh, Tor. And um, anyone who works at a ESP, Internet Service Provider? Anyone knows about Tor or is just the first? Well, quite a few. Um, use it or just know about it? Use it? Anyone use it, the Tor? Uh, <laughs> well, that's good, I think. <laughs> So it will be useful. <laughs> um, and anyone like cats and see cats on the internet? No? Cats. cats on the internet? It's, it's not all, all what all, all the people do, see cats on the internet? Well, I have a friend of mine that has this problem. He loves to see cats in the internet. The problem, the problem is that and he wants to see every single cat. But the problem is that he lives with uh, uh, his girlfriend that is allergic to cats. He can't see cats anywhere. So he thought, well, it is a Torah solution for, for seeing cats without disturbing my girlfriend? I don't know. We're going to see it. Anyway, the, um, the agenda will be to a brief introduction to Tor. Uh, and we, how it works, not superficially, of course. And finally, the user experience test is a topic, main topic of the, um, the tour. And if, you, if you, we have time and interest, you can see also the service, uh, tour service that supports the dark net and things like that. So, so what is tour? Uh, Firstly, you have to understand that the, 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 the TOR is, is, uh, is a, a way to build a network that is designed for privacy. So it, it works at, uh, um, the, the, as a network layer. If you know, uh, you know about um, the, the Aussie model of the, the network layer, we can see the Tor as a session layer. So in top of TCP and before you have the, the HTTP or other um, application layer. So you will only be uh, anonymizing the traffic that will go through that session. That, that is quite important because if you use the Tor, it's, it's not enough to be, uh, to be anonymous, to, not be, uh, to, to, to have privacy, it's not enough not quite a bit, but, but because of that, you are only you, um, anonymizing a, a session, a TCP session. So, so it will, will, will be interesting to see the, the, the other type of communication that we do, you do, and if they go through Tor or not. So to see how it works, I will start with this. It's, the first step when you try to, to do the Alice to, to talk to Bob, as always. <laughs> it's always the Alice to talk to Bob. Um, so he, he first starts to, 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 to get the Tor relays um, nodes from a, a public service. So he gets all the, the relays that are, using, that are the, the, um, available to, to Tor network. Then it, it um, randomly select a path going to full, through three nodes. And it, the first step is to connect the first, to, to the first node, make a, um, a, the, a private session with it. And using that session with the first node, go to the second node and do the same thing. And then to the third node. With this, you, you have the, as you saw probably, the, the, the symbol of the, 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 the tor is an onion because of the layers. You have the first layer and you, when you connect to the, the, the first 
uh, nodes, you put the first layer you are having encryption. When you talk with the second one, using the, the first one, you put another layer, and the same with the third. So the, the only nodes that knows your IP address will be the first one. This one don't know neither your source IP address nor your destination IP address, and the only node that know your destination IP address will be the last one. Um, and uh, the, in red, uh, the, uh, the, the round arrow in, in red, say that that is the last uh, step of the connection that can be or not be encrypted. Depends if you are using um, uh, uh, HTTPS connection or not if you are using web. So. From time to time, the, the Tor network also change to a new path. So you select a new, normally 10 minutes, you select a new path, the client that are in Alice computer, select a new path, and you um, go to, through the, pro, the same process, selecting a new path. Um, and, and basically, is, this is the way the, that uh, how the, the network works. You, you can um, see the, the, this, uh, this network as having uh, two types of, of nodes. The, the exit node is, is the last one that knows that someone is trying to get to some site or some uh, VPN or some anything else. Um, and the, the relay ones that are in the middle. And uh, in, in some cases, you have to use another one that are a special relay uh, nodes that, that are the bridges. The bridges is just like uh, any relay nodes. The only difference is, not, is that they, they, are, they are not public available in the, in the, in the directory. So you know that uh, there exists one is published in the, uh, in the site or something like that, and you use that to get to, the, to, the, to that node. Why is needed? If, if um, all, the public, all the nodes are public, you can block them. As we can see in the <laughs> more, uh, in, more um, um, in, in other slides that I have in front. So, but, so the, the bridge is, is quite uh, relevant when you have uh, the needed to, like uh, uh, you have a firewall that is blocking the access to Tor network. You can use a bridge node to go to to enter in the, in the, in the Tor network. Uh, this is, uh, well, the, the exit node so is, is the last one. We already saw that. Uh, we, in, the, in, the, in, the last, uh, in the last top of the, 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 the connection, all the traffic is encrypted or not, depending of the, the communication you are done, done If you are using SMTP, it's clear text. So if you are acquiring DNS, it's, it's clear text, so you be aware of that. The relay nodes are the, the, with the, the, the circles inside, so, but in, in this diagram is all with the plus sign are the, the, the relay nodes. And, and the bridge ones is one of the, the, the computers that are over there that don't have a plus sign, so it's not public available. So, overwrapping this, this a little bit, again, Tor is about uh, uh, connection, network connection. So, you anonymize your network connection. Only the traffic that go through the Tor will be anonymized. So, be aware of that. And. Um, The other, the other thing that uh, is co quite common in, in solutions like this one is that if you have more nodes, we'll be more secure because we have more paths to select to, to go from A to B. So uh, the, 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 the Tor uh, people are all, always asking for more nodes. The, the exit node is a, 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 a difficult one to, to have because it will be connecting to real web um, internet or to real um, servers. 
but the relay ones just go pass through, uh, it's passing all in, uh, encrypted um, connections, so you don't see anything relevant there. And, um, and the relay nodes also are quite important for the, the question of blocking. And to increase also the, 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 the security, it's important to have many users with many types of usage. So this is a, a point to, to use it, but is, will be enough for us to use it? Uh, well, <laughs> I will get there, my opinion, in the, in the next slide or two. So I get to the point where I was, that I was planning to, to talk about, that was about the usability. I, I tried to use the, the, the Tor network to see if it will be possible to, to see all the cats in the internet without disturbing the girlfriend. So it's not mine, I don't love so much cats. <laughs> uh, and, and so th this is about the, my results. I, I have been um, in using uh, uh, Tor for these tests for three or four months or so. So I, I try to every day go to the web and do stuff in the web using the Tor. Sometimes I, I give up, <laughs> but we'll get there. Um, so this is to get privacy. So we get privacy at what level when we are using Tor? Again, it's only network. Uh, in, and I use this, this site. IPLeak to, to, to check my, my browser if, to see if it is leaking some information about my location or not. It's quite, quite nice. With a, a clean uh, Firefox installation, well, I use the Tor, as you see in the first, in the first box, uh, is a, a public Tor, but my DNS is telling that I'm in Portugal and my WSRC RCT is also saying that I'm in Portugal. So it's not so good. As I said, you only anonymize the traffic that goes through the Tor. So the DNS is not going. I'll be showing my, my location. To, to change the, the, the DNS, you have to change the, the, the information in your proxy, saying that the, the, you use the remote DNS. Uh, but uh, you can check again, and the web R R R TC show my, my IP address. This is not a good example. The previous one was a better one that shows that I'm in Portugal. This one, I don't know exactly when I take the screenshot. It's not a good one. But well, they, don't, they get that information also. So the, the best way is to block it in the, in the browser configuration. As you see, it's, it's quite confusing to do all, do the, all that things. So I will get to there, but I will say now, use Tails. Tails is uh, um, a Linux distribution that is designed to use Tor. They already do the, all the work, the tough work for us, so it is a quite good approach. So with that, we, we, uh, I'm completely anonymous in terms of TCP connection, in terms of co uh, network connection. But I'm really anonymous for a, a website? Of course not. But, <laughs> uh, but this will be enough for, for the allergic girlfriend. Will be enough. My, <laughs> you don't see anything, any traffic. Like uh, the, the local ISP but not for the a website I'm visiting. Why? I use this site from AF, AFF Foundation that, um, that uh, deals uh, with um, the security stuff in the internet, and uh, it checks how, an, uh, how unique is your browser configuration. And again, for um, a, a clean setup, browser setup, we see that I'm quite unique with my configuration. So in, in this slide, I, I see that I'm unique in, in that, that big number. That is more or less the number of people that try this service, so I'm quite unique. And the, the, the characteristics that make me unique is system funds. I don't know why my system funds are so 
strange, but well, they are. My list of plugins and um, many things, including, and I don't understand why, in my normal configuration browser that do almost the same result in terms of uniqueness is the, the HTTP accept header. I don't know why my header is, is like that. I have to check out that. And my list of plugins, so I'm, I'm still um, uh, unique for the website. With the Tor browser, uh, the, the, the Tor um, uh, people also um, have a, um, a Firefox customized browser, that they, this is the Tor browser, that already have uh, um, some configuration done for you. But even with that uh, uh, browser configuration, I get a, a unique, um, a unique um, uh, characteristic of my browser by the, the size of my screen. I believe that is because I'm using a Windows Manager that is quite unusual. So it put the, the size of my Windows with a different, with a strange uh, size. So I believe it's about that. But again, in Tails, even the size of the, the, the window is more or less unique, is um, more or less common. So this is the browser inside a Tails, uh, a Tails distribution. Again, the size of the screen is the, the best uh, way to, to, to see the uniqueness of, of my setup, but compared to the, to, to the, to the, the, other, the previous one, I'm quite better now. Two orders of magnitude lower, so it's quite good. Well, and with that all stuff, I'm anonymous, <laughs> or uh, just a little bit more. The, the, the technical stuff is over, more or less uh, technical stuff. Do you have any question about it? Do just go. OK, and so, um, then <laughs> I'll get to usability. Uh, well, this, this is really the. What, the next slide is really what make me do the talk. But, well, just a slide is not enough. I have to put something more. So, but I, I have, uh, I'm an, a little bit more anonymous, but I will get a lot of um, slow connections and uh, broken pages. About slow connections, this is the, uh, this is data collected from two months, more or less, um, from uh, um, uh, that I collect every 50 minutes or so to, to get to, to all of these, um, all of these uh, sites, just to get a page there. And uh, as you can see, the tour is almost always worse, quite worse than uh, the, without the Tor solution. Why? You are traveling through the uh, uh, free, free relays. So you don't know if the relay is in uh, Europe or is in a Asia or in the United States or something else. So it's, it's quite, you, have, you have to travel a lot in the internet to get to some place. In, in some strange case, uh, we get a better real result in the, uh, the minimum result is better than, inside Tor than outside Tor, but that will be probably because we are getting a, a deny page. Um, and uh, I, I check for the result code, HTTP result code, but it, it can deny me and send me to a, with a 2000, so I, I don't know if it is the case, but I believe it is the case when you get something like that. But in majority of the cases, the, the result is, is quite, uh, well, not so bad as I, I used to, to, to use the internet in 90s, so it was quite slow. But uh, well, it's, it's much slower than we expect today. Well, you have uh, at least one, um, one advantage. 
with broken pace, we see cats. I don't know why they put uh, cats in the, in the pages that are saying that are broken, but I, I don't know. Or, or access denied. Well, I don't They like cats, obviously. But you also get um, a file network connection to that, that go, but can be in, in many sites. Or you can, if you are trying to travel and make a reservation, you have access denied. Again, it's because the, 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 the tours relays are public, so anyone can make a, 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 a deny for that IP addresses. This is not solved by the, the, the bridge relay, because the bridge relay is for, for entering in the, in the, in the tour network. Well, but the only thing to, to do is to change to, to a connection without Tor. Um, or to make a reservation in a hotel, you also get it uh, access denied, or even in Google. You don't have that experience? <laughs> well, you def we haven't used it so much, the, the Tor. <laughs> Um, or is it yet? You, you get the same thing. The, the other problem is usually the language. Well, this is not so difficult. But sometimes, even in, in the Google page, I get to the Google with a strange language. And this, even for me that know the layout of Google page, is very difficult to change the language. Sometimes uh, I, I give up and restart the, the Tor network to get another uh, re relay path so that I can see a proper page. But well, this is not so tough, it's in French and it's about cookies, so it's, it's quite, if, so it's not so difficult. But we, we also have uh, error pages. I, I don't know why, but sometimes the Google say that the page is broken I use the same URL in other browser without using Tor, and I see the page, but it's broken. Or see strange things at the pages. Or get extra um, um, validation. So it's quite common to, like in, in, in social net, um, websites, to have an extra validation when you appear in strange, with strange IPs. Also, and before I forget it, don't use it to go to the, to the bank, online bank, please. It's blocked, if it is not blocked, it block your account, so don't do it. I, I, I have to say almost the same thing about Facebook. If you try to use the, uh, the Tor to get to the Facebook, probably will be, you have an extra validation, if, and if you have an, if, uh, and if you don't have a second authentication factor, we will force you to get to have one. Even if you go to the proper IP address using a, um, a usual IP address, so it's not so handy. Uh, also, to go to this uh, and captures. You see a lot of that. And they are annoying, really annoying. Well, you don't need to use Tor to see this, but if you use Tor, you're always seeing this. And sometimes I don't understand why I fail. Well, I'm not good enough to, to see the, the street signs, obviously. But I fail a lot. And uh, more of that, even in Google. So. In terms of usability, it's not a very good experience. So I, I don't know if you, if you should use it or not. Well, after this presentation, I don't know if I will still use it or not. But well, it serves for this, to, to show the, my experience with the Tor. At the, um, uh, some of these uh, results um, were obtained using the tails, as I told you. Tails is a Linux distribution that do every tough work for you to connect to the, the Tor network. So if you want 
to use Tor, if you want to experience Tor, to have a, a first experience with Tor, use Tails. It's quite easy. Put in the USB stick and boot your computer and try it. It's quite nice to use it. It's, you also have um, a, a chat uh, using the, the Tor or other, other applications that use Tor to connect to, to the network. So, and you have um, uh, IP tables uh, cutting the your traffic to go out in, in the other ways that not with, through the Tor. So it's, it's, it's quite good for the purpose. Oh, the next slide is about that. Um, inside the tor, this is uh, inside the tails distribution. Is this is a, a screenshot of the tails distribution? You you have a lot of uh, warnings about the size of the screen, like this one. Don't change it. <laughs> HTML5 canvas also is sh uh, asking if you want to to share <laughs> that information with the with the server or not. And you have a. a uh, IP tables and uh, other services uh, and um, other um, to block service that you can use outside the, the Tor network, like you, who is. Well, it's not so good example that I put here, but it also happened to DNS and things like that. So it's quite in, in interesting the way they they build the the tails to to be more more secure. Secure. And again. In, and in, in conclusion, uh, if you want to, to, to use the Tor, to, if you want to anonymous, um, anonymous experience in the, in the websites, probably Tor is not needed. What you need is to, to have a more control about your plugins, uh, your screen size is more difficult, and, uh, and, and have a plugins that block your, your, your the, the trackers bl uh, that uh, clean your history and cookies and things like that. With this, you don't lose so functionality like using Tor, like the speed and, uh, and, and other things. F if you think this is not enough for you, uh, then you probably, oops. Is a slide missing here? Um, the, uh, the other step is to is to use a VPN. If you don't use your uh, local ISP to see your traffic, you can use a VPN like uh, Open VPN or even a, a SSH tunnel. Um, well, will be the, do the job even for your girlfriend, so you don't see the cats history. Um, but if you want to go use the Tor, don't use it. Use Tails. Use Tails, really. is a better approach to do it. And you lose functionality and speed, of course. So for my cat's project, my no, my <laughs> My friends, <laughs> my friend Cats Project, he got it that it can see all the cats. Sorry, they are growing in number, so it's impossible. And this is the talk, so the only thing I can add to this is about the Tor service. I don't know if you want to listen about it, uh, but is it, if you, want, you have any question, or I go to No, no questions? So. <laughs> Tor service, do you want to see about Tor service something? It's quite short, but I don't know if you have. Yes? Well. Well, yes. Yeah, with the Tor team, so do you know? Can you comment on that? Yes, I, I haven't talked about the, the Tor problems. Yes. Uh, like 
uh, any any solution they have problems <laughs> and and um, there are quite few stories running in, in the internet about the, the the security of the tor network even so probably is the best solution that we have but yes the tor uh, network can be um, uh, can be used uh, well, uh, the majority of the, of the problems uh, are because of the relay, relay nodes. So, if someone controls a lot of them, can can by statistic um, analysis see what type of traffic are you doing, and this is more easy if you have fewer um, clients and fewer nodes, of course. So, uh, yes, there are problems, but even so, is is the best solution that you, you have for um, anonymizing at le network level again it's always at network level but yes there, there are problems okay thank you and and and, and that that, uh, that the, the the problem is also uh, um, is more of the uses that you do than than the network itself the, the, the internet nowadays is quite complex in terms of type of service that you use and the, the topology of the network. So it is quite easy for you to 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 miss something and uh, reveal your, your identity. So it's, it's very 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 easy. So I don't believe that uh, uh, great organizations that uh, need to do that uh, that um, scanning of the network to see. Who, who you are, or something like that. Use that. Uh, use the Tor to, to determine this. Uh, I, I have a, a web server. One of the issues that uh, came uh, when I was reading about this was that someone put a web uh, um, a Tor service. Normally, uh, was called Iden services, but now they call it Tor service. Put one on the internet, and a few uh, weeks after. Someone is was trying to get to, to 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 that service without being published in any place. So probably was some someone trying to understand what was happening in the in the, in the dark network. Um, I have a, um, a Tor service for one month, and I'm constantly with my checks of the speed. I'm also checking the speed of my service so that someone. The, the relays knows, knows that I have a, a, a static page saying Tor test of, of, um, of um, in, in the Tor with the, using the Tor service, and I don't have any 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 uh, requests from others than me. So I don't know if nowadays it's different from from the past, but well, it's my experience. Um, but uh, I, I think the, the 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 most relevant is is that. Is the, the topology of the network nowadays is quite complex. The web service that we ha we have in the internet is, are quite complex. The browser is quite complex, running a lot of things inside it. So it's very difficult to be anonymous. In the, just to using Tor is impossible. You need to do something more. Intel is a good solution. I don't know if it's perfect. Probably it's much better that I can do it by hand. So. Tor service or it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it don't count. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> <Did we>? yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Tor service is, is just the the, the um, other service that you get from from the the the, the Tor network. You can put some um, TCP server that is. Iden uh, uh, in with the Tor network, so you on, you only get to the Tor service using a Tor network. Uh, I, the the configuration I haven't talked about the installing the Tor, so I don't believe it's a good approach. So I skip it. Uh, use Tails, but if you want to use the Tor service, you have to make the configuration. They have a quite good page saying how to you can uh, can install. And, and, and configure, so it's quite easy. You you only have to uh, to uncomment a couple of lines, 
in the in the in the Tor configuration file, and you have a, a TCP that you can deliver for, for a Nginx or a Apache or something like that that have your pages to be served outside uh, inside the Tor network. And um, when I was preparing this, I tried to understand what I can find in the Tor network, in the dark net. Oh. But it's quite interesting. I can find a repository of Debian packages. So if you have a Debian installation, you can install with Tor service. It's quite nice eventually for someone that have the service blocked. Uh, the DuckDuckGo also have um, uh, uh, a service with the Tor, with the Tor service, and you have a list of of um, a directory with with uh, a, a couple, um, many Tor services. Well, the list is not so beautiful to see. They have a lot. I haven't talked about that, but. The Tor is always uh, associated with uh, some not very good things that happen in the internet, and dark, dark net even more, like uh, drugs and uh, weapons and things like that. The well, that also, but uh, um, so it's, it's, it's not so good to see things like that in in, in the in the in the. Polit in the links related with the politics was quite disturbing to see the, the, the list of them. Uh, but at least most of them are dead, so thank God. I, I'm not religious, so. <laughs> so, this is. This is what, is, is what I have so, about the Tor service, not much. But I noticed that we have uh, some advantage to use Tor service. And it's quite nice. You don't, have, you don't need an IP address to have a service. You don't have to have a domain. You don't have to have a, a SSL certificate to, 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 use, uh, to, to, to have encryption. So it's, it's quite nice to, to think of what you can do with, with it. Well, it's not a very good place to have things. It's slow, but but this, these characteristics are very interesting, and it probably will be nice to have other type of service that don't use encryption but can deliver that to you so easily. Downsides is it is slow, so and you have to access to to the to the. To the service using Tor, so that's it. Any questions? I'm just in time. So thank you very much for your presence. I hope you enjoy it.